Happening now, a veteran's home in Huntsville is under a federal review after allegations of mistreatment. We first brought you the story about these allegations last month. Senator Doug Jones called for the investigation. Way 31 Sierra Phillips joins us live from the Tut Fan home tonight to explain what she's uncovered. Sierra. Right now, the Department of Veterans Affairs is running a full audit of, Hunt, of Huntsville's veterans home. Now that means they're looking into everything that's happening inside. I also learned today that the Alabama Department of Public Health is looking into it as well. But none of this matters to the wife of a man who lives here who told me her husband gets excellent care. I have nothing bad to say. He's been here three years. They've treated him wonderful. Mary Rice told me in the three years her husband has been here at Floyd E. Tut Fan State Veterans Home, he's been treated well. When you walk in, the place is clean. They love their people. But Senator Jones called for an investigation in March after reports surfaced of people being mistreated at the facility. His office said former employees claimed there was improper feeding, inattention causing bed sores, and an inadequate response to a scabies outbreak. The department tells me it started an unannounced investigation Wednesday because of those allegations. There's nothing bad going on. I'm here every day. To make sure nothing bad is going on, the federal VA could be here for a couple more days. They're looking into nurses' notes, doctor's notes, financial records, nutritional information, virtually everything going on inside. Rice says she's seen them inside the home. They're very nice. They are just observing to see what goes on, actually goes on there. They're very nice. While I've been here just working on this story today, two people have pulled over to let me know they've had wonderful experiences here. I've reached out to the organization that runs the home. They told me these kinds of reviews are routine and they are committed to ensuring the best possible care. Now I'm working to learn what will happen next once this investigation concludes. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.